You can see here that I plugged it in and there's nothing happening. Hey guys, I just got off work. It starts getting dark so soon. Anyway, I came to get my deer. It keeps, you know, the weather keeps messing around. So we have to uh, probably do a systematic um, drying in the house. So let me get the deer. I'm going to troubleshoot this. Figure out what's wrong with it. Unplug it. And then I got to pull out the anchor seat. Oh, since it rained, it loosens them. And you could see we have a... Uh, We have these nails we got from Lowe's or Home Depot, one of those. I hate when it rains because then they get real dusty. I mean muddy. So these are the nails we use to anchor them. They uh, should, we like them with more texture, but these are pretty good because they're really big. I'm just going to put them over by the door. Right here is the deer. I'm going to take it upstairs. And I guess I can dry it simultaneously up there. Let's see how big it is. Oh, it's all tangled. There we go. Okay. Let's go, Mr. Deer. All right, guys, so I brought the inflatable up here. Um, I'm going to try to plug it in and see if it's still broken. You can see here that I plugged it in, and there's nothing happening. I really hope it's the fuse, guys. So I, brought, I bought extra fuses from Amazon just in case. And I also have my special professional tools here to remove the fuse. And let me show you where that is. So inside here, um, there's a spare fuse, so I might not even need the fuse, but you know, I just want to make sure. Oh, there you can see the fuse is blown. Let me switch it out. There's the old one, here's the spare. Oh, I popped it out. And I'm going to replace it. There we go. So here is how you open or access the fuse. You go on this side, you see um, the arrow there. So you just slide it open. And there it is. Alright, so the fuse is repaired. So I'm going to try to see if this works. Do you want to help me, Erin, and try to plug it in and see if it works? Did you know? Oh my god, it works! Wait, wait, wait. You forgot the piece. We gotta turn it around. Alright, let's flip it over. We fixed the base fan to the right position and we're gonna inflate it. Oh, I'm so relieved that the inflatable's working, right, Aaron? So I think what I'm gonna do, you can see it has some dirt. I'm gonna, um, let it dry in here. There she is. It's a fuzzy one too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna let this one. Uh, oh, it's all twisted up. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, now this one too. Go up there. All right, awesome. So I'm going to let this beauty dry in here for just a little bit. I don't think it's that wet, but I'm not sure, you know? Look how big this thing is in this room. Let me back. Let me move back so you can see. Yeah, it's really big, huh, Aaron? All right, so we'll just leave it on for a little bit. You know, while we get ready for bed and stuff, and then I'll 
I'll, I'll box it then. Oh, let me fix the feet over here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So here you can see what the fuse is. They are uh, 125 volt 5A. So if you got maybe a secondhand one and doesn't have the spare fuse, just know you can get them really cheap. Like this was like six dollars on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description so you can uh, so you can find it. Now this is just for the big inflatables that have you know the base fan. But I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.